CBS is no good. And in fact, in honor of you, I just sued CBS today because of 60 Minutes. You know why I sued her? Because she was on, and it was called election interference fraud. Very simple. They asked her a question. She gave an answer as though she was one of the dumber people in the history of our country. Certainly the dumbest vice president and would be beyond the dumbest president, but we're not going to let that happen. So she gave one of these, you know, they call it a word salad, but I, I don't like the term. I don't like the term. No, I don't like the term. I think you're very nice, but I don't like that term. She, she came dressed as a word salad. Do you believe it? And he came dressed as a wall. Look. And I have no idea who she is, but she's a very pretty young lady. Okay, sit down. So she answered a question. It was a question. She gave this long, crazy... If you read the answer, you would say there's something wrong with her. So you know what 60 Minutes did? Can you imagine them doing that for me? They took the... It was a very long answer. It just went on and on, just words. Didn't mean anything. 60 Minutes... And CBS cut it all out, and they took another answer for a meaningless question, and they put it up there. Do you know that, right? They put it up there. They took it, and they put it up, and they replaced an answer that would show that she's not qualified cognitively, as I would like to say. I think she should take a cognitive test. She's not qualified. They took it out in its entirety, and they took another answer from someplace else, and they put it in. That's called election interference fraud, okay? So we sued them today. And I think CBS should lose its license, but I think ABC should lose its license also because of what they've done. We'll see. It's a hard one for them to explain. Now, well, let's say we have a fair judge. Well, exactly why did you do that? I mean, it's... You know, I've seen where answers are sort of juggled around. That's not good either, but a little tiny. But to take the whole thing out and to take another answer from a totally different question and a totally different part and move it in, and they get caught, and they don't want to show us any papers because they might have done it with many other answers. And that's real interference. So, no, we don't have to lock them up. We, they should lose their license, with, which is worth billions of dollars.